before we get into it, Ms. Aurora is going to ask you to like this video, share the video. We need all entrepreneurs to get in on this juice and please subscribe to the channel if you have not, so we can stay in this conversation together. All right. The first thing that Ms. Aurora is going to get on are the domestic asset protection trusts. Okay. Right now, this type of trust is welcome in three states. Of course, my lovely home of Nevada. We also have Delaware and Alaska that are taking in the APTs, welcoming them, and they are very valid. Let Mr. Aurora tell you why DAPTs are so juicy. Number one, the grantor, who is the creator of this entity, can legally be a beneficiary. Yes, this is an irrevocable trust where normally the grantor would not be legally a beneficiary. But in this particular type of setup, the grantor can be the beneficiary and still benefit from the income and principal distributions, all while still protecting the assets that belong to this trust from creditors, lawsuits, and any other type of harmful financial claims. Okay, this is the, <laughs> that, that's the main reason why many people are running towards a DAPT in Nevada, Alaska, or Delaware. Now, you know that Miss Aurora loves Nevada. Nevada is tied with number one, uh, tied at number one with South Dakota for having the, the best asset protection laws as it relates to trust. Okay. So we like Nevada. And if it is that you are interested in having your DAPT done, please go down in the description box, get on to Miss Aurora's calendar so we can get it in, or you can simply join the sole proprietor CEO group session. I will put up here in the video when the next group session is so that you can have all of these things done along with a whole lot more. Okay, let me move on. The second reason why this entity is so juicy is due to the strong legal protections that have been enacted in these three states, Nevada, Alaska, and Delaware. Now, the burden of proof is extremely high for any creditor, anyone who's to seek to have a lawsuit against the grantor, okay? Any type of financial claim, that individual or that entity would now have to prove that there was a clear intention to defraud. If we don't see that, I'm sorry, it's going to be hard to penetrate this trust here. Even though the grantor is a beneficiary, it's going to be extremely difficult to prove that anything really transpired that would allow the veil of distrust to be broken, okay? The third reason that I'm going to name as to why a DAPT is so juicy is the exclusivity of these three states. Now, remember that creditors will try to challenge the grantor beneficiary setup because in other states, we all know that is not legal. That does not make a valid trust. You cannot take these type of documents into a bank in any other state and say, I want to open up an account. The legal department is going to say, no, this is not a valid instrument. It's not going to happen. <laughs> okay. So what happens is that because of the strong legal protections in these three states, it's, it's just too difficult for a creditor to challenge the validity of the trust. Also, the ease in not having to relocate to any of the states where you are going to house this particular type of trust. Okay. And when you come into the movement, Mr. Aurora is going to show you, teach you, and help you create this entity without you having to uh, make a move. Okay. The fourth reason why a DAPT is so juicy in the states of Nevada and Delaware is that there is no state income taxes on trust assets. This tax benefit, along with the strong legal protection, is what is driving a lot of high net worth individuals and business owners to this particular type of trust entity. Secured entrepreneurs get with it.